stream in the last round. Quad yes. Vipers. Quad Star Vipers, each running crack shot and a four point bid, I believe it is. Um, he's been flying these guys very well. Uh, he just took out four Republic arcs. That was three arcs and sinker. Uh, and it looks Ooh, like yeah. he's facing some more. So we've got two 104 Battalion arcs here on Tim Tim's side of the board. Yes. Along with Rick Oli. Yes. Um, he's the uh, Naboo Starfighter when uh, if you're going faster than your opponent that turn, you get an extra die on attack and defense. Correct. I believe. Uh, and he's so also got... the dial remains revealed. Yep. And you check that revealed dial and compare them. Uh, and Rick Oli or Olie, perhaps is how that's pronounced. That's one of those um, Also has R four P seventeen. Now, what does that guy do? These new Republic droids. So when you do a red maneuver, mm -hmm. uh, you can take an action, spend a charge, and take an action, even while stressed. Okay, yes. Okay. Great. So uh, kind of like um, pattern analyzer a little bit. Yes, yep. but only two charges. Uh, however, the same cost of five points. Yep. And uh, available for Republic. Uh, yeah, so Republic only. Yeah. Uh, and then there's Obi Wan Kenobi, who has... I've heard of him. Yeah, uh, that 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 guy. Uh, it's probably important, right? Um, after a friendly ship at range zero two spends a focus token, you may spend a force to give that ship one focus token. Uh, so he can keep ships awash in focus tokens if he wants. He's got three force. Um, He's also running Heightened Perception, which does... Uh, Absolutely nothing in this matchup. What is it? It's... Um, oh, you can just engage at a higher initiative, uh, which you don't need against the Black Sun's assass Sun Assassins. Uh, and Delta 7B, which turns his A-Wing into an X-Wing, basically. Adds... Um, Better than. Yeah. One attack reduces one uh, agility and adds a couple shields. So you end up with a three, two, six ship, right? Which is basically the same stats as next wing, but um, way better dial, better dial, and extra actions, force, lots force. of force. So, so that should be fun. Um, so Obi Wan is really powerful mm -hmm. in this particular <laughs> list, and one of the reasons he is is because those arcs will spend their focus tokens on defense very yes. frequently. Obi can keep them pumped up. Mm -hmm. uh, he can also keep Rick in focus tokens. I've seen Rick Oli in the short time that he's been out absorb shots from like three ships and take like one or two damage. <laughs> um, um, if he's going the right speed versus other people, uh, he could be really effective. Well, and uh, here's the thing. The way Don's been playing, he's been running these Star Vipers um, with... Uh, boosts linking into focus or barrel rolls linking into focus mm -hmm. which keeps him stress which means he then does ones or twos the next round yes rick Olier is going to be doing threes or fours each round so he can get his free evade yes uh and always get that bonus die on attack and defense um which is going to be great uh for um now the judge is in there mm -hmm. in the room with them the marshal Kelvin. Um, and so if Tim engages in this fortressing nonsense he's doing right now for <laughs> longer than two rounds, uh, Kelvin will throw him out. <laughs> um, yeah, and I don't expect him to stick around like here too long. This is probably just to slow himself down for one round. I mean, those Vipers can spend quite some time before committing. So Tim yeah. really doesn't want those arcs floating out there. I mean, he has pretty much the same jousting power as the last list we saw. Mm -hmm. He's just got two higher eye ships. So this is a more <laughs> difficult matchup for yeah, Don than yeah. the last one was. However, he doesn't have all the rerolls that Sinker granted mm -hmm. with the arcs. So those arcs can whiff. Obi-Wan, though, does have those force tokens. Mm -hmm. um, Rick gets the free of aids, and Obi Wan's get um, can spend those force on boosts and barrel rolls as well, right? Yeah. Um, so which... the only issue with Obi Wan is that you can often burn through his force too quickly if you use it to help your friends. Yeah. Uh, true so the question is, ever. are you a selfish Obi Wan, or are you a, a selfless Obi Wan? If I were Tim, I would consider running the arcs 
together in one group and the other two ships, the aces here, in another group, right? Kind of do what Don's been doing, split the ships up into two groups um, and s see what happens. Well, usually he pilots Obi-Wan near to the two arcs because... Yeah. You want to give them focus turns. Yeah. Also, they cover Obi-Wan's approach. True. We've got a Viper, Viper 4 being Viperlicious. I do want to see Rick Oli in action. So I feel Don will be a bit more careful here than he was last time. Mm -hmm. uh, and when he feels the moment is right, he'll spring. As the Star Vipers tend to do. Like, I don't know, Vipers? Hmm? Yeah, how about that? <laughs> yeah. All right, chat. Who do you want to see win? You voting for... Big Timbo Slice, or older than X-Wing himself, R5 Don 4. R5 Don 4. These uh, are two <clears throat> huge pillars of the Ontario X-Wing scene. Mm -hmm. Now, I said it before, um, I personally have a soft spot for Star Vipers. Yeah, you're the commentator. You're not allowed to announce who you, you, you root for. <laughs> uh, but I uh, am... Really excited to see Obi Wan and Rick Oli um, doing their thing here. It's a sweet list. It's a really fun list. I faced something similar earlier today. Um, Obi Wan, Rick, and I think Anakin, um, and there was some other stuff on both Obi Wan and Rick. Uh, they had some torpedoes and things like that. Um, and it is a Tim's just got they are they are do stuff fun to f seemingly fun to fly. Oh, yeah. I don't actually own any Republic stuff at the moment, but that's the sort of list that makes me want to go, hmm, maybe I want to Yeah, wanna, I, wanna I think you'd, you'd enjoy the Republic. Oh, yeah, I'm certain. A lot of aces, a lot of fun stuff. Well, let me know if you want to borrow them some night. <laughs> this is pretty much as expected. Tim is not straight fortressing <clears throat> and earning any disrespect. Nothing too surprising. Mm -hmm. Nothing too worthy of commentary. Everybody's shifted around in position a little bit. Okay, we have a big three turn. So we got the unexpected three bank. We got the one straight. Death revived is voting Tim. Rooting Tim. There's no votes here. There's just rooting. And death revived is saying that since Tim organizes the trip to Worlds for all the locals, he, he should he should get the invite. Mm. And we've got some Star Viper squiggles. It is a good word for it, isn't it? Squiddles. Squiddle. Squiggles. Squiggles. Squirrels. Swizzles. Squeals. We're tired and getting silly. <laughs> this is where everyone gets a little batty. The flying tends to get a little crazier, a little, uh, a little more creative. I mean, late in the day, we've seen Don just be on point. Oh yeah, absolutely. He did fail that barrel. <laughs> just one, just that once. Yeah. We'll never let him forget it. So, Moose Green asks, Obi-Wan is listed as having 7B. Is that correct? Yes, Moose Green. You can, in fact, fit this stuff in with Obi-Wan with 7B. I believe it's 200 points on the nose, but he might have a one-point bit or something. It's because Obi-Wan became so cheap. Did they reduce his price in the recent change? They did. Hmm. The cost of 7B went up, but the net cost of Obi-Wan with 7B dropped. Hmm. Anakin was Anakin went up significantly with 7B. I think he's uh, either in the 80s or pushing 80. There's Rick. So Rick might just Rick might just three bank here next turn towards Star Vipers. Yeah, just charge him. Strong feelings about them doing three straights, though. Well, at least the ones which are facing square across the map. Rick could stall a bit this round. Obi Wan looks like he's happy to do a four straight next turn. Yeah, interesting choice from Obi-Wan. He's not hanging out with the others. Ooh, what are you doing, Rick? 
What are you doing? Tim's got plans. He does. It looks like um, if he wants to, Don can have his way with um, arc number four. Well, do you think a barrel roll is a good idea here, Mike? Yeah, absolutely. I think Tim's playing some head games. So he's using a force token to do the barrel roll. Mm -hmm. And then he'll get a regular action as well. Mm -hmm. I to just focus. Barrel roll is native on their um, on their action bar, yep. but boost is not. Correct? Yeah, it is. Oh, it is. Yep. Oh, okay, great. So they can just do any of those. They have everything. Uh, well, they don't have jam or coordinate. Yeah. Uh, and their because evade is purple. Yes. I wonder how people have been feeling with that. Uh, feeling about that, the purple evades. If it's, uh... So I did an entire tournament where I ran Ahsoka. Anakin and Mace. Mm -hmm. I think I did two, maybe three purple evades. Yeah. It seems like something, it's less um, it's less something you're expected to do and more just a bonus. Right? Yeah. It's just a bonus that you can you can do if, uh, if you well, have the opportunity. And... Well, if you need to be really defensive and you still have force, yeah. then, it's a, then it might be worthwhile. Like if you're taking a mm -hmm. torpedo shot um, on a three green dice ship mm. you have some force and you spend one on an evade then very likely you're just going to take one damage right 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 got a two turn it looks like it might be a joust which is an interesting that's what those arcs want to do yeah it's not what the star vipers want though but i mean he stressed himself out last turn it looks like and um this one straight is not great folks uh, all that stress means Don is limited. But Don may not have done the three straights. Two banks. Ah, here we Ooh. go. This is what I like to see. Trixie. Yep. He's got room to barrel roll if he wants. Oh, he wants. Just setting himself up to an ex excellent position for People next People in the chat are calling into question Tim's choice of heightened perception on Obi-Wan. And, you know, I've done that with him in conversation many times myself. Mm. Tim swears by it. Uh, it. I mean, it's... You spend a force to engage at, P, uh, at I-7, right? So yeah. you just get to shoot first. Yeah. Which can be very valuable um, against a higher initiative ace. But at I-5, most of the other ships you're fighting are going to be lower than you. And Brilliant Evasion does what? Let you spend an evade for two evades? You spend a force and get can change two eyeballs to ah. two evade results. Right, yes. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That makes sense. That makes sense. Okay. Seems useful. Um, sure. Just a little bit better than your regular force spending. This is a neat bunch of maneuvering on. Yeah, look part. at that. They just kind of slid over, right? So if Obi-Wan does a one turn here and tries to sneak around. Hmm. She's hoping, gonna, to, hoping to catch out Obi-Wan. Yeah. There's going to be another barrel roll here. And Obi-Wan's just going to roll right into that kill box. Yeah, I mean, I think the two likely moves here uh, are there we go. from Obi-Wan. So I'm actually we're over one turn left. Overhearing the table talk here. Um, Tim is just saying that he used heightened perception five times over the course of the tournament, and it was key three times. So we got four straight there for Rick. So, I mean, if Tim swears by it, it does seem pretty good being able to shoot first. Mm -hmm. That was always a thing in uh, what was those 1.0... Uh, Hawks. So Tim deliberating about what he wants to do here. I think you just focus. Cam Murray is uh, appalled by how much the uh, Vipers resemble uh, quad phantoms. <laughs> how they float in formation, he says. Uh, Tim wrecks the game state, has to concede and go home. Empty-handed. 
Uh, Malzrim's asking about the table music that was playing earlier. I believe it was Motown of some sort or another. Oh, and there's Obi-Wan just facing down those Star Vipers all alone. Yeah, two of those shots are currently through the gas cloud, so... Yeah, yep, yep. That's not uh, too bad. Maybe even three. Star Vipers 3 shot might also be Hopefully obstructed. Tim won't forget that Viper 4 has got a nice crack shot. Yeah, he hasn't forgotten. He's got a barrel roll. He's getting away from his arcs, though. Yeah, looks like one doesn't have a shot. Oh, Rick took a target lock. I mean, that's... Is that overconfidence on Tim's part? Tim gets out his dice collection, <laughs> which he has spent much effort and much money in order to collect. I mean, he won a bunch of them, and he traded a bunch, so hmm. it's not all money. Ah, uh, yes. Uh, Tron999 is pointing out that Obi-Wan needs two more shields in the overlay here. Because he has Delta 7B, he should have two more shields on his display. Obi-Wan shooting Viper 4. Deciding some things. He spends a force. And it looks like we have three. Just, uh, he'll roll a whole bunch of natural evades. Rick. Big three dice with lock. Looks like he only has Viper 1. Yep. Nothing. Tim rolls some inscrutable dice. Looks like there's two. Viper rolls. He's deciding if he wants to spend the focus. Yeah, or take the damage. Hmm. He took the damage. Right, because he's got bullseye on Rick. Yes, absolutely he does. And Rick has only got an evade token. He does get uh, an extra die here, because he was moving faster than... Yes, so he'll have four dice. Yep. But it looks like the rest of them will shoot at Rick, so it's Rick's bad day here. First a little something for Obi-Wan. And he spends that focus. Oh, Did triple Obi -Wan blanks on Obi-Wan. Blank? Oh, on Obi -Wan. That's That's so sad. That's three shields gone for Obi-Wan. Uh, oh, he's so, now going to shoot Obi-Wan. Yeah, he's going to punish him for it, right? So uh, Star Viper 3 also shooting Obi-Wan. So that's going to be three dice versus... Uh, it's just two three. this time. Is that... That looks like... Did he Two use... blanks and a focus, so he's yep. spending a force token to... Just take one? Yep. Take oh, no. one damage. Or is it none? One damage? Yeah. Okay. Uh, number two has no shot. He's just at a range of both Rick and Obi-Wan. Or does he have it through the cloud? No, he had, he had no... Sh uh, oh, okay. The range is Groovy. no good. Number one is making his choice. Yeah, we'll see if... Num I'm number one should just shoot Rick. He's yep. got the bullseye. Yeah, he's, he's got, got the, the focus token. You always hate to be spreading damage around, but you got to take the good shots when you got them. Yep. This is turning out to be an excellent round for... It is. ...for Don. Three green dice. He somehow has null points. Just noticing that in our overlay here. So just two for the Viper. And three natties, so he's fine. And does that arc have range? Probably not, right? What sort of turnarounds does the Naboo Starfighter have? Uh, only three talons. Three talons. Yeah. No K turn. Nope. Yeah, so it's got to be squirrely with it. Yeah, often uh, the thing that Rick does is he attacks, disengages, comes back later. Yeah. So I'm wondering if this is a disengage turn or if he wants to, like, three bank towards the Star Vipers or something. I don't does see how he does. Three? Does it have a hard three? Uh, yes, it does. Yeah. That might be a crazy idea. And he's got might land him in the cloud. He'd still get his evade. I think it lands him in just in front of the cloud. I don't think you would hit it. What does Obi-Wan do? That was bad news. Yeah, absolutely. Um, Obi-Wan... It would be nice to go for 5k, but if it gets blocked, he's dead. What if he, what if he like, two banks and barrel rolls or something? Put himself behind. He wants to get behind the Star Vipers if he can. I mean, Viper 3 is probably doing a one straight and barrel roll focus. One straight barrel roll towards Obi-Wan. Yep, yeah, you could do that. Yep. So you got 35 points on the board for Don. There's that three bank and the hard two, which you called. Yep. 
Nah, I think it was not surprising. Yeah. I doubt that Don's gonna give number four a shot, but we'll see. One. Yeah, I think out. Rick just has to get out, which is really unfortunate. Yeah. Obi Wan might do a five straight. Actually, I think that would just diss the heck engage. Let the arcs get to work. Girl, That's a good move. Yeah. Potentially blocking. Yep, cutting off the 5k. Yep. Five just, straight. Just hanging out to block Obi-Wan wherever he might be. Damn, Don is really being surgical with those guys this time. He must have been in his slump last round. Now, you barrel... Oh, no, there's no room to barrel roll uh, to the top of the screen. The way there. you want to go. Yeah. Um, so I think he might be stuck there. I think you just boost. You're going to take that range one from that arc. Oh, you boost towards Obi-Wan? Yeah. Yeah. But you don't need to take a second arc shot. I think the boost gets you out. It's tough. No, he's just focusing. Okay. Other guys doing something else. Three oh, straight. damn. Which I think fits. It looks like it fits. So arc number damn. three is going to eat some uh, eat some oh, range one shots man. from a Star Viper. Such flying. He can get out of that arc, though, if he barrel rolls to the top here. North, yeah. yeah and really that might even block Rick. Yep. Which could cause all sorts of trouble. I mean, each of those arcs will have a range one shot, so <coughs> they don't mind that. But it will split the fire. No, he's going the other way. <laughs> Interesting. Yep. Well, I guess he knows that Rick won't have a shot at him here. So the thing is, is that if Obi-Wan did do the fast move, he's out. Even if he's blocked, he's out. If he turned in with a one. Ooh, he'd also be in a pretty bad spot. No, nah, he's just taking it from one guy. Because he'd one turn, barrel, barrel roll. roll. Yeah. yeah. Still a range one shot from a Star Viper is... Not what you want. We'll see what he's done. Tim is a hard is three for Rick towards Ooh. the Star Vipers. Ooh. He Looks... may not fit in that space. Oh, yes, he will. So no things for Rick. Yeah, he definitely fits. Does he bump into... Oh, yeah. I mean... It's not a horrible position for Rick. Uh, I mean, it's not good, but it's not as bad as it might have I been. I think he managed to actually dodge the arcs of both yeah. of those Star Vipers while one is bumped. The, the consequence other. is he's probably not fit, uh, committing much firepower wise. Like, he'll throw yeah. three dice at uh, Viper number three, but like, it's. He's got the gas cloud. And... Yeah. Or maybe he can shoot Viper four, but whatever. He's got no mods. Uh, I think he's only got three. Yeah. Yeah. That's not great. He gets an extra die, but. That's actually not necessarily a bad idea, uh, that shot. Yep. Now, so what do we have? Three straight, it looks ooh, like. Ooh, good call, Tim. Oh, oh three, three bank. bank. Yeah. Like the one of those only safe moves. Moves. I mean, what Don has done here is he set himself up to have shots, mm -hmm. four shots on arc number three. I mean, one of them is not great, but the other two are range one shots. Yep. Uh, four actually, yeah, all four shots. Yep. One, one is not great. Two are range one. This one here is fine. Does Obi Wan have the room to boost? I mean, I I ask rhetorically since I know you cannot see that part of the board any more yeah. than I can, and we yeah. will see here. He does though. Yep. Obi Wan is out skis. And those things have sloops in K turns, right? Yep, two sloops and four and five K. Yeah, it sounds about right. Yeah. No, uh. No Talon rolls for them. Star Viper 2 may get hurt here. Looks like a... Oh, is that even... Uh, no, he does not have Star Viper number 4. Yep, so just the garbage shot through the cloud on yep. Super Super Viper number 3, who's already proved that <coughs> he or she can roll more evades than... Who's that? Star Viper 3, mm. yep. Yeah, it doesn't even matter. Star Viper 3 is the one that just set their trip evading. This uh, 104 Battalion pilot is going to eat a lot of shots here. 
Yeah, I see one crack shot only, so that's not too bad. Yeah. He's got to focus somewhere, and but Obi can't give him any more. It's too far away? Yep. So we got big three. That's three. Well, we roll, we rolled an evade. And crack shot was used, so three hits into... Arc number three. Arc number three. So I think we've seen plenty of evidence that crack shot is hell on wheels <clears throat> on the Star Viper. It's great. Don't get me wrong. It's great. Uh, I'm wondering still if Predator would be better, just because you can use it every turn. I mean, yeah. maybe. Oh, boy. It's modifying that. But you've got to use it two times to ensure you get one. Yeah. It's potentially better. It's it's worth the points. Um, I prefer crack shot myself. I wonder if that four-point bid has actually been important in any. Hmm? Did Was that last hit a crit? No? Okay. It's just <clears throat> Don has weird dice. And another two. Double evades. Superstar arc. Well, that counts for a lot. Dude will probably live. Yep. Dude is living. Oh, it's a crit. Three. Yeah, but the cloud. Oh, yep. Yep. Right, there it is. And he didn't even spend his focus. Hmm. How about that? Yep. So, time to uh, hurt some Star arrogant vipers. Star Vipers. Yeah, number two is probably going to eat quite a bit. Uh Travis here in the in the chat is saying that the four point bid is gold oh, and similar hot initiative fire. Yeah, yeah, I wonder. Crit I, I coming wonder. in on Viper Two. Viper Two may or may not have a focus token. I cannot see. Uh, looks like it's one of aid, so that's looks relevant. Like it does, but so hit and a crit into Viper Three. Three, two. Viper Two. Pardon me. Yeah. So could very well die here. Direct. Ooh, very likely. In fact. And we've got three. Three hits from the range one shot. So he needs two paint to live. He He's gets got two it. evades. It takes one. So leave him at one? I think so. Yep. All things considered, that went pretty well for Tim. Bringing the arcs to bear mm. really made a difference. Mm -hmm. Obi-Wan is pretty much free to do as he wills. Yeah, the Star Vapors aren't going to get a shot on him for the next little while. Um, so that's actually, Tim's got him in a good position there to cause some trouble. Um, that being said, the Star Vipers will probably work on the arcs. Well, they can probably look to PS kill. Yeah, number three. I three. Uh, arc three. If Tim can get another Viper off the board in exchange, sorry, a Viper off the board, mm -hmm. in exchange for Arc 3, he's doing pretty well. I don't know if he's going to be able to get number 2, though. If I... Mm. Is mm. 2 not stressed? 2 is not stressed. So 2 could sloop. And I think that's the move. I think I think what Tim should do is actually with number 4. 2 turn. Uh, 2 turn up. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 2 turn up or 3 bank uh, between the rock and the cloud. Where's our... Um, How about a two-bank? Let's cut the difference. Where's our little... Uh, That's gone again. Drawing. Yeah, two-bank right from arc. This way? Uh, yep. Two or three? Yeah. That's kind of what I'm thinking. Uh, then he gets his rear arc on wherever the Star Viper is going to be. Yeah, I mean, he needs he needs that focus token because two dice with no mod against a Star Viper is mm. just who's, junk. Who's doing what here? Three Arc bank. three is getting out. Yep. Three bank. Yep. Good call. Yep. Putting himself in a place to bring the rear arc to bear. Yep. Getting a focus token. Trying to live as long as possible. He will probably die before he gets a chance to shoot. Maybe. But, but hey, there's always the chance if Tim only gets one sh or um, Don only gets one shot at him, he could live for sure. Mm -hmm. I was thinking he might do K turn there, <laughs> but whatever. Pardon nope. me, folks. Nope. Hard two puts him putting himself in a blocking position. Yep. I don't think a sloop will fit anymore for number two. Yep. Star Viper number two. He's also blocking Star Viper number one. That's a four straight, three straight. Yeah. Um, avoids like the block. 
just disengage there. Yeah, not in a position to do much after that, though. It's not going to get a shot. I would consider simply focusing here. Peels out, hoping to get outside of range three of um, the dying arc. And just to, to see whether or not he'll take a focus here, he does. Yeah. Next turn, a one bank barrel roll can get him facing wherever he wants, though, so that's not so bad. It's pretty strong. Sorry? It's pretty strong. Oh, the, the banked barrel rolls are great. Um, now, what's going on here? Everybody's doing reverse maneuvers? Ah, three bank in that direction. Yeah. Not a sloop, though, just a bank. Yeah. He's conserving his ships. Yeah, yeah. I would have slooped, but that's me. You would have been blocked. Uh, no, no. Slo well, slooping in that direction. Then you've been shot in the face. Yeah. I don't think he can barrel. Oh, he could barrel out of that arc if he goes. Yep. Yeah, that way. That dude's on one hull. He better focus. I suppose Obi Wan could whip back around as well. So he's got to be careful with these guys. That's a three straight. All right, coming in fast, trying to dodge arcs, but he's not going to be able to do it. Rigoli has not moved, correct? Yeah. Nope. No, so, he'll move after the Vipers are done. So what do you do with Star Viper number four? I'm almost tempted to say you barrel roll it towards the gas cloud and give him a focus. He's going the other way. Yep. No, wow. he's just running. Yeah, just a turn of running this turn, um, which is not a bad idea at all. Um, Don's playing very conservatively. And I will survive as playing upstairs. We can hear it dimly. So Travis asks, are these games saved, going to be saved individually to YouTube after... Yes, that is the way we do. Now, is this a three talon here for Rick? That would be badass if that's what he did. Talon roll. Yep, how yep. about that? Don't forget, he's got that uh, droid. Yes, he gets an action this turn if he wants. Mm -hmm. He could. Those things have boost. Yeah, he could. Or he could just focus and take that long range shot on number two. Yep. yep. Number did two number two, two do a only? three or a two bank? Uh, he did a three bank, I believe okay. it was. So yeah, it was a three bank. So he does not get the bonus die here. So let's take the focus. Burns the charge. So he's the not droid. spending. He's not spending a charge to do R four P seventeen. He didn't. No, nope. didn't he put down a token? He okay. No, he just said he just said he's not doing it. Oh. Um, so then there's an extra token out he's there. He's been leaving the tokens on the board and flipping them up, face up or face down. Damn, that's terrible. Which is kind of, weird, us. kind of a weird choice. See how the um, the PTL logo is there? That means that's face down. Not Somebody anxious. should threaten to not give him the world's ticket if, uh, <laughs> if he doesn't do it right. <clears throat> so that's a hard two from Obi-Wan. I mean, the thing about where the Vipers have ended up this turn is it's put Obi-Wan in a nice chase position. Rick isn't in a bad position. It's not great, but it's not bad. Lots of shots for Tim. So he came away with some nice shots there. He's going to barrel roll and then boost, maybe? Probably. All right, he's just going to throw a bunch of dice at... Uh, no, target lock. Yeah, it's a good spot to be yeah. A lot of a lot of running. There's just I think one shot available here in this uh, one or two. So yeah. positionally, I think this has been a very good round for Tim. We'll see what the dice do. These Star Vipers have their silly three green evades. So it's a range three two dice pot shot at a Star Viper. Yep. Two hits. Two hits. I can't get any better than that. Oh, yep. two paint. Nothing got through. Viper number three is against, shooting. Uh, against arc number four. That looks like three hits. Two and a crit. Yankers. 
Ooh, the that's arc. blanks. So there goes the shields on arc number four. And there's no focus fire here. Each each arc has a shot on a different target. Looks like range two though here. Mm -hmm. Tim, it's two. I'm Tim's dice are hot too. Yeah, absolutely. He's There's just not many quite marks. as many of them. Oop, that's uh, a dead viper. Is it not? Was it four who was hurt? No, no, it's not dead. Just oh yeah, it was. Sorry, yep. two. Yep. Two is dead. He was only able to evade one, and star viper number two is off the board. Yep. So that's great news for Tim. Yep. That definitely makes life a bit better. So Tim's dice are manifestly hot. Mm -hmm. That's three hits. And that's nothing getting yep. through. So Tim got the one damage through that he needed to. Even though Obi-Wan is badly hurt. Point-wise, this is back to... a. Uh, close to tie game. Yeah. Obi-Wan is in a great position. That arc is not in a great position. Obi-Wan, though, with only two health left, cannot afford to make any mistakes. No, but and these uh, Vipers are not pointed towards him. 4K from mm -hmm. arc number three. Makes sense. No focus token for him this turn. Nah, he's probably out of range of everything meaningful. 4K as well. Mm-hmm. That is a surprise for me. Makes sense. It's not like a horrible move or anything, but I really <clears throat> thought he'd want to put some pressure on uh, Viper 3. Uh, I forgot Viper 3 is stressed, so he's probably just doing a one bank. Yeah, he is. But then he can barrel roll in and block the likely one turn, mm. one bank from Obi-Wan. Viper 1 is just... Peeling out one yeah. straight. Viper One has got something better to do. Dawn's not happy with his position, just trying to reorganize. Yeah, there's a little stress token there. You can just see it at the edge of the edge of the window. So I'm wondering if that three bank or sorry, um, one bank is dialed in for Viper number three. Even a two bank actually would be good one bank's best it's funny he really has to focus with these there it is vipers um even though you know this because uh rick and obi-wan are so fast mm -hmm. and there it is one bank barrel roll mm -hmm. don ruins the game state <laughs> no world's ticket for him tim's just fixing up the arc focus barrel roll great Hoping that Obi Wan's going to end up right in his arc. Yeah, I mean he's Obi Wan's still got a two bank available to him. <laughs> yep. Yeah, it's po probable that Obi Wan will manage to dodge, and three will just get a shot at uh, arc three. Three will get a shot at arc three. Yep. So this is another round of repositioning for. Yep. Don. And I think you don't focus here. He does focus here. Okay, great. Yeah, I agree that he didn't really need to. I mean, maybe yeah. Obi Wan could, if he does the two bank. No, it's the one bank. Ooh. Oh, so it's not a block blocked. though. Oh no, they seem, they seem to think it's a blank. Nope, nope. There. No, it is a block. The judge is in there. Judge, judge them. Obi Wan gets blocked. Yeah, it's not so bad for Obi Wan. No, not so bad. Uh, I mean, there's Rick no one. Does no one two there bank. To he has to. <laughs> No one there to take advantage of oh, it. What is a three and it fits? Wow, I didn't think it would. Uh, that's why number one did a three. That's why Viper one did a three. To deny Rick the extra die. Yes, and to keep his distance. And Viper number three is still locked by Rick. Hmm. So Rick can have full mods here or he can boost and get a little closer. Yeah, Apostasis uh, Dawn is not in a position to punish that block, which is really unfortunate. Um, if he could have just gotten a, gotten a shot on Obi-Wan here, he would have been able to finish him off, probably. Oh, Wotski. Oh, just out of range for Rick. No There's shot for Obi-Wan. One shot on the board right now, and it is... Uh, two shots. Oh, yeah, two shots. These two are firing back and forth. 
Good. Doesn't look like he's in bullseye. They're doing some ad hoc bullseye checking. Yeah. But range three through the gas cloud, so that's going to be... A whole lot of dice. Yeah. But the Viper can go ahead and spend its focus if it wants to. Yep. Hot. Hot. One gets three and a free evade out of that. <laughs> oh. That ends up being three evades for Tim. They're going to check the bullseye arc. Oh, yeah. Just to see, because if, if crack shot is available, that will end. Um, nah, number three is two health, doesn't it? Oh, is that two evades over there? No, it's three health. Yep, bullseye. Yep. Might as well spend it. Do you any... spend it when you're getting them down to... Well, yeah. Yeah, see why not? any crits in the bunch? Nope. It was just a hit. Yep. So he's down to... Two. One haul. Uh, it's just not did what... two damage. He spent the crack, right? No, he did one damage. Because it was three evades, so it was two natural evades, and then one converted with the gas cloud. Oh, oh, right. It was three evades. <coughs> Sorry, yeah. I only saw two on the board. And Tim's just going to roll all paint and return. Okay, but Don's got five dice here. And he does. Three evade. Yeah. So. See a lot of paint there. Oh, yeah. Don doesn't care. <laughs> That's four evades, including the gas cloud. I was just showing off. Mm -hmm. Frankly, it's a, it's okay. a little bit. Uh... <clears throat> but now this is where the Star Vipers get to get to strike again. Um, you're going to see one bank from number four, uh, one bank from number one, maybe a two bank. Mm -hmm. But um, arc four can bring its guns to bear. Arc three, it can it gets some work done here. Yep. And uh, what's his name? Don can bank one left and then barrel roll it to kill that arc. Dead. Sorry, say that? Don can bank one left and barrel roll. One left. Barrel roll. A barrel roll. Um, I don't think a barrel roll gets you arcs on that. On that. Maybe you're right. Yeah. Whew, too straight. Mm. I thought he was two bank for sure. I feel like that arc is going to pay for that. Nah, Tim's got a plan. I don't know what it is, but <laughs> there's a plan. Well, Star Viper 4 is definitely coming in this direction and yeah. just avoids all those arcs. Three bank? Two bank. Two bank. Two bank, plus a boost and a focus. Yeah, watch out for Obi-Wan. Star Viper 4, watch out. Yeah. Boost and focus is what's happening here. Yep. So that arc's going to take Don some damage. Don just gets greedy going in. So that arc might have been bait. Two bank. And I think a barrel roll and a focus here. You want a barrel roll? Absolutely. Yeah. No question. Even if you're being baited, that's still a good move because you dodge that arc's arc. Yep, absolutely. Dodge the arc. Take a focus. Now, Viper 3, my bet is he expected the block and is doing a two bank towards the exit just to get out of there, avoid the shot. Don's been playing conservatively. So There's expect... only two hull left in that guy. He could just two bank. Just take the block, right? I mean, the block at this point does not make him connect. Right. Okay, that's oh, if done. he were to block yeah. um, Obi-Wan? Yeah, get lucky true. on the dice and kill him. Yeah, that's the right choice, though, I think, here. Um Maybe. Just avoid the arc, and he's probably going to boost around. It doesn't bring him into arc, but puts him in a better position for next turn. Oh, bank barrel roll. Yeah. Set up. Oh, yeah. Okay. Next turn, one turn yeah. shenanigans. One turn barrel roll shenanigans. Well, uh, I mean, I suppose Obi-Wan could be sl slooping. No, don't focus now. Why would you do that? Because he's afraid of a sloop from Obi-Wan. Hmm. But he's not. Bank. Yeah, it's the three bank. And well, boost. I guess one bank barrel roll does the same. Well, uh, having a hard one next turn would have been great. He does not get it, though. Coming in so hot does give these two Vipers the possibility of shooting at Obi-Wan. Ooh, look at that boost. And these guys are full health. <whistles> or am I correct about that? No, number three is down to... Uh, that's this one hull. over here. Uh, oh, yeah, you're right. So one and four are oh, four. Oh, sorry, no. Number one has oh, taken yeah, one damage. Right. So, so, nope, never mind. Um, 
Rick disengages. Ooh, boy. I think he was expecting the Star Viper to be a little no, he doesn't farther. disengage. He's a little farther away. Yeah. So I think Tim planned that. I think he did the two straight so that he could do that with Obi-Wan mm. and try to put two guns on number one. Yep. It's just... Hmm. I mean, Pretty impressive flying. Number one's going to eat some damage here. He's, he's, he's got to get lucky here. Obi-Wan, if he doesn't kill either of these guys, and that's likely. The sense of being a four-dice attack because of Rick Oli's ability. I think that's Obi-Wan shooting first. Spending oh, no, target right. lock and four hits. Four hits. Yep. It's good kill the Viper. And he's... I mean, the overall combo was unlikely to die from just this one shot. Were there any crits in there? I can't see the funky dice. We'll find out. We will see. So Tim here is deciding if he wants to use a force token from Obi Wan to let Rick keep a force token or a focus token. Nah, I mean Rick just isn't the target here. No, he did it. So Rick's got a focus back. I guess Obi Wan is at full force. Um, he had, well, he was at the start of the round. Ooh, three damage going into that guy. So he looks doesn't like... spend the... Oh, yeah. There was four four hits, right? Yep. So three damage. Ooh, this could be really bad. Yep. Yeah. So Tim's, Tim's deliberating on whether, which one he should shoot here. I, I think, think you go for the kill. No question. No, oh, no he went not. for the range one. He's nuts. Three hits on Star Viper number four. He's nuts. Ooh, that's one evade. Yep, but it's just two damage on a fresh dude. So three damage on Star Viper number four. Now, the question is, to Star, Star Viper number I think there was only four, two, right? Uh, s no, three total. Okay. He chose not to spend his focus token. Oh, he's going to kill Obi-Wan. Is he shooting Obi-Wan? Of course. Ooh. So Obi-Wan takes one, Return gives himself his focus back. So number one is probably going to take that shot and try to finish Obi-Wan off. So Obi-Wan's Obi down to one hull. If he rolls three paint, Obi-Wan is dead. Yeah. Is it range two? Yeah. Yeah. That's he rolls three, three paint. paint. Spend the focus and a dead Obi-Wan. That's big. That's really big. Uh, Obi-Wan is one of the bigger threats on the board. Well, it cost Don a lot to do that. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. He took three damage, three, four damage amongst his... Oh, he might lose a Star Viper here. Nah, that arc. Don't have arc. Uh, they seem to think it does. Well, that's probably because the plane they're looking at is completely different from our two-dimensional yeah. one. <laughs> They seem to think it's good, so... Yeah, that dude's dead. Oh, three hits. This could take out Star Viper number one. That's a dead Star Viper. Mm-hmm. Rick is facing the wrong direction, which is great. Mm-hmm. Uh, we're going to see a one bank from Star Viper number three, and... So where did Star Viper 4 end up? Ooh, only two hull remaining. Yep. So my guess is a one bank from Star Viper number 3 plus a barrel roll gets him facing this way. And um, one straight here. Yeah, just a one straight from Star Viper number 4. 4K. And Rick is probably Talon rolling that way. There's two bank. Now, I don't think Don can get a shot with his Star Viper number three here, so I think actually maybe he was planning on peeling out instead. A two bank plus a boost gets him ready for the fight later. The unfortunate truth about this uh, this fight is that Don spent a lot of turns simply repositioning. I think Don's going to bill roll away. No, roll in. Interesting. He's not going to have a shot here. I don't know if that was the right choice. 
um, apostasis, uh, that role actually managed to bring the Ark. You're asking why did the Ark, or the Ark do that barrel roll? It managed to keep the role of the Ark outside of uh, um, Dawn's Ark for Star Viper number three. So it's actually a pretty good move. Otherwise, he'd have to be taking two shots right now. There's a Talon roll from Rick. I believe the Star Viper did Spending a three. Spending his other charge. Who's that? Oh, no. He didn't spend the charge the other time. No, he's yet to spend it. He's He is spending it this time, though. Mm-hmm. Action's going to be a target lock on Star Viper number four. Who is in whew, bad shape. I so I feeling. convinced him to put that R4P17 on that ship. We'll it's good. It stands him in good stead. How many? You said it's five points. It's yep. worth it. Uh, two shots out the rear from. Well, or that's... sorry, no, from the front from Rick. Yep, yep that two. didn't do anything. Thank goodness. Yeah. Number three might die here, though. Arc three. Yeah. Yep, arc three. Well, if he doesn't, Don's in trouble. Ooh. That's a lot of blanks. I, Louis going to spend the focus? Really? Yeah. I'd have saved it um, because he's going to take a shot from uh, the arc number four there. Yeah. I, I'd have saved it for defense. Um, <clears throat> Does Viper Force still have his crack shot? I keep asking this. Yes, he did use. Well, actually, I think he just used it now. Just doing an arc check. Yeah, that looks pretty clearly in. I don't know. It's tough to tell on the screen. Yeah. The angle's weird. Look, we get to see Kelvin's mug. <laughs> and it's gone. That's Kelvin Lau, our uh, marshal. He's doing a great job today. So he didn't have it. And Keep it's all honest. Shot instead onto this really healthy Star Viper. <laughs> Triple of eights. fine. <laughs> This there is Viper 3, who just triple evades every yeah. time. And here we have the shot. Did he just roll three hits? Three Whoa. hits from... Yeah, that Viper's yeah. toast. See, so this is why I should have kept the focus token. Did he just roll three hits? Triple evades. Of of wow. What? <laughs> what? What? Ooh, that is one lucky Star Viper. One lucky Star Viper. Yeah, it was one lucky arc, too. So let's, mm -hmm. you know... Yeah, absolutely. It. All right. Well, the dice have conspired to keep us here later. At least they're giving us drama. <laughs> so what do you think? Uh, I'm thinking one bank for Star Viper number three. The same for Star Viper number four. I think Rick now does what Rick wants. Rick just four straights and blows away Star Viper number four. Yeah, I don't see how Star Viper four can deal with it. Suppose he one banks left and or then barrel rolls, tries to get behind the rock. Two bank, maybe? Even? Um. But arc three's best move is to put himself in a spot where Viper four can't get. Uh, what Viper four could do, actually, is a three straight, because the arc's got to move first. Mm -hmm. Viper four, three straights, and boosts out of the way. Right. I mean, if Rick does a five, he entered the way of nothing. Oh, that's true. If Rick does a five straight. The Viper 4 is not getting shot this turn. Don's definitely been limiting his options each round. Um, oh, yes. Yes. Um, right. He can't do the five because he's stressed. Or There's a four straight, four straight blue. Three, three, yeah. So that's why uh, Don does the full three as well, and he manages to avoid Rick's extra die. One thing's for sure, Viper 3 has to get his butt off his chair and kill that. Yep. Yeah, yeah, he's, he's spent uh, too many turns not doing much, but this turn he'll have all the shots he wants. Well, the one shot he very much wants. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I think, I think he, I'm betting Don's doing the three straight. Yeah, I don't think it's a bad call, yep. but it might get away from that arc with an appropriate barrel roll or boost. But even if Rick is stressed and doing uh, the five straight isn't optimal, I'm not sure that Don can rule it out. Mm. 
three straight. There it is. Yeah. Well, he had better kill arc three. Yeah. Which I'm certain he will. He's only got to do one damage. <laughs> We've been certain for rounds. True. Still a target lock on him. Who's that from? Boost and Rick's. focus. Yeah. Boost. Yep. You're right. And focus probably, just to be sure. Three straight for Rick. We'll get the extra die against Star Viper number three if he wants it. No shots for Oof. Rick. He is just out of range. Star Viper is going to take out arc number three. <laughs> we'll see. Hopefully. That is one, one, one hit. hit. Is it a range three shot? Uh, range two. It's a die roll. <laughs> and he evades. Oh, no. Oh, no. Uh, that arc got a an evade. Very lucky. No shot there, so it has to shoot. Arc four has to shoot through the silly cloud. Four is just out of range. Yep. And that's an obstructed shot against three. That's like an impossible shot. Yeah, range Actually, three. it's not. Not at all. It's three dice versus... Five. Five. One of which becomes a blank. If it strips the focus token, I suppose yeah. arc three is going to shoot. Hey, hey. Just That's three hits. Roll paint all the time. All right, and we got... Oh, yep, that's evade. three evades with the gas cloud. All right. The gas clouds are putting in work. That one, at any rate. Who brought Maybe. the gas clouds? Uh, Tim. Tim did. Yeah. They're they're benefiting... Um, they're benefiting Dawn much more. The game is going on. <clears throat> Another 4K. Which puts them out of range for this turn. And keeps yeah, them focus well. less. There's the three bank. Mm -hmm. What do you do if you're Star Viper number three here? You have no stress token. And that was a very obvious move, so... Probably three bank. Four straight. He's going after... Um, he's going after arc number three. He's going to try and kill him. That's my guess. It's yeah, going to barrel roll. Barrel business. roll focus, yeah. He has to kill arc three. Yeah, and this way he also dodges arc four's arc. If he barrel rolls this way. Mm-hmm. Yep. <clears throat> and it was a fast move. Rick is not going to do anything that fast. Yeah. Yeah. And he's holding that one bank template. Here it comes. Yeah, there we go. Which one of these one hull ships will die this round? <laughs> Maybe both. Bell roll and a focus. And three doesn't have his crack shot, though. That charge has been used, which is a real shame. That was a two bank? Yep. So and obviously you can do the three straight. Going to be a bell roll. Or just a boost? Now nah, yeah. you barrel roll, try to get, get to range or outside of range three if possible. And you focus. Yep. Two forward from Rick. So cautious, Rick. Yep. We'll get a two point uh a two die shot against the Star Viper. <clears throat> Star Viper's not gonna care. Nah. Probably bounce off of him. Tim's applying what tokens he likes. <laughs> He's just remembering what's what. Range two, two dice. Yeah, it's two hits. Two hits. I mean, if he blanks out here. Which he oh, proceeds to do. Oh, no. <laughs> okay. That's Star Viper number three. Oh, wait. No, no, no. Sorry. No. Star Viper number three had health. Yeah, he did. Um, so, whew. Okay, that's, that, that, was, that was not bad. I was thinking four, who only had two health here. Uh, there, that's all paint. Three hits, it looks bye like. Bye-bye, arc. Two and a crit. Arc number three is off the board. Oh, man. Arc four actually has two health. Wow. I thought it was on one. Arc. Sorry. Star uh, Viper. Viper four. Yeah, Star Viper four has two health. 
This continues to get harder and harder for Don, I think. Yep. It's not spending a lock. Uh, it's fine. <laughs> spends that focus. Don's of eight dice have not been treating him well this round. Rick still at full health. The 104th Battalion Pilot Arc sitting at six hull. Mm -hmm. We've got two Star Vipers, one at three and one at two hull left on the board. If Don can get rid of, if he could get rid of Rick, he could start just dodging and not also focusing, leaving him unstressed so he would have more options each turn. But he's been doing basically one banks every turn, uh, one and twos, and it's been limiting him. It's one bank from the arc. Mm -hmm. and this is the round in which Tim intends to kill it. We're going to do, I'm going to see Star Viper number three doing a two bank and boost or barrel roll or something, probably. Whereas Star Viper number four is going to hope to, what, get a four dice shot against him, lay in some crits. There's no way out of this arc. Mm, no. The arc's arc. Oh, wait. No, 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 it's no that does not put you out. He's getting himself to range two. Yep. Yeah. And he'll focus. Ooh, no, it's going to range one, maybe. Hard to tell if that's one or two there. Yep. Two bank? One bank. And a barrel roll towards Rick. Yeah. gets him nowhere this round. But. Nowhere this round, but Rick's not going to have a shot on him. He's got to keep focusing for defense, but it means he can't turn around. Ooh, that looks like a bump. Ooh, nope, no, not, not so not. much. Bye-bye, bye, Star Viper. Yeah, you might have that Star Viper shot. Here comes the focus. I mean, you will not kill him with one shot. The Star Viper? Nah, I don't nah. think so. Spend the target lock. Go for three heads. Crit. Two and a crit. Triple evades. Nope. Just one. Hit crit. Killed him with one shot. Yep. He is dead. Oof. Or wait, is there two paint there? I'm confused. Nope. 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 Right. Um that was that was dead Star Viper. And that's pretty much the end of the game. I mean, Ooh, I mean Arc four can take the back arc. Yeah, okay, he hasn't missed it. Yeah, that's that's bad news. Nope. Um, it's a very good chance that the Star Viper will evade that. Nope. Don's decided to take them all, and yeah. he concedes. Yeah, and Don concedes. There it Tim is. Tim wins the hyperspace trial and gets the invite to Worlds. Congratulations, Tim. Nice round, Don.